to are building trust and communication. If you don't have trust there, I don't even know that the other core competencies matter that much. Okay, it's that important. You have to trust the people you work with. You have to trust the people who report to you. And you want to be trusted by your supervisor. So that's a key criteria there that really needs to be first and foremost before anything else. And with that, I also have communication because both of those things together go towards establishing trust. Honesty and behavior and communication. It's so important to establish that trust. I really want to know that you will tell me the truth even if it's something that you're afraid to tell me. Even if it's something that whether you made a mistake or it's something that's going to be non-beneficial to the institution or it's going to put us at risk, I've got to know that if something like that happens, you will be honest with me and you will tell me. Sharing information in an appropriate, accurate, and complete manner. I need to know everything that's relevant to my area. Okay? And I don't want any details left out because you think they might be boring to me or it's something you don't think is that important. I'd rather hear more and decipher for myself whether I don't need to know all of that information. But I need to know it in a timely manner and I need it to be accurate. Follow through and timely completion of assignments. It is not enough to just say, I sent an email to campus services and I'm waiting for their response and they don't, they're not great with email so they may take three or four weeks. That's not good enough. I didn't finish my job because I sent the email. I need to be persistent and follow through. Communication in a clear and concise manner, conveying messages professionally. Okay? Communication has always got to be clear. I've got to know from what you're either telling me or emailing me exactly what a situation is. And conveying messages professionally is very important. When, whether it's email or voicemail or in person, your tone has to be professional. Okay? The grammar should be professional. Stay aware of new developments and serve as a resource for your community. If you're here at this conference, you've learned new things, no doubt. You go back to your institution and you share that knowledge. You stay up to date, you stay current, whether it's through Ankura or, or just the news or, or whatever. You've got to have resources that you're aware of that help you to stay current because the odds are that you are, if not you, then you and a few other people are literally the source of information for your institution about your, perspective, your respective roles. And so there's an obligation that comes with that is you've got to stay current and know this information as it develops and bring it back to where you are.